What's up, everybody? And welcome to episode 100 of the podcast. It's crazy. I've been going for over two years now. Thank everybody for the support. Who's been watching the What's Up, everybody podcast, supporting Bear Mountain Studios, and everything we've been doing. Been a crazy ride. So here on episode 100, I'm doing an intro because I did an episode today with the boys, all the guys here that I work side by side with that are part of Bear Mountain Studios and help us with everything we do here. So if you want to check out this episode, stay tuned. But before I do that, make sure you guys check out the website, bmsglass.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We have lots of drops coming up because we're currently relocating the studio. So we're doing big ass drops so we can make some big moves and do it safely and smoothly for the whole company. So thank you everybody for the support over the years and enjoy this episode, it was a fun one. Thank you. too easy bro oh yeah it's too easy to fall asleep on the couch yeah bro and then once you're there you're there dude i mean that's like now that i have a kid it's like impossible to do that like there's no way i'll wake like, up at like two o'clock and then like, be like i should get up and go to bed and then i'll just be like wait oh, bro, like, like, okay i'll do it again that's a comfy couch bro yeah yeah dude but this this fucking this piece dude i was like working out the last few days anything like this like once it's done i'm like I'm like, oh, it wasn't that bad, but the process itself, I was like, God, I don't, like, <laughs> when I was in it, like, even Cassie, she's like, I want you to finish that fucking hammer. She's like, it's too stressful having you work on a piece like that for three days. Not that I'm going inside and freaking out, but she just, like, sees, like, how much work and how big it is. It looks twice as big on a handle. Yeah. You know, yeah, like, you're yeah. working. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it looks absurd. It's like the size yeah, of your chest, bro. It feels like such a relief to like, have it done. Like today, I can work on some shit that's a little bit more like manageable and comfortable. Mm-hmm. Like this thing was just like such a fucking handful. You know about set accessories for this one? Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. I'll have a hammer and or, I mean a slide, and I'll probably like have like some other shit to make for it too. Yeah. I don't know. It's got to come with a flower slide, but I would, I'm telling people this is fire for hatch. It'd be great for flower too, though, because it has the like double diffuse perk right here. Right. Um. And like, this is the first time I did the 14 mil version of like the hybrid EHJ can. Cause I've done 10 mil ones. I've done like two or three of them. Yeah. But I've never, well, I, I did one 14, but it was clear. This is the first ever like clear one. <coughs> one. Yeah, but I'm just stoked on it. Does anyone want to dab on it though? Oh man. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. sick, dude. Yeah. Sick. I was like, I was going to take a dab on it. <laughs> but new studio, we get the keys on Wednesday to the nice. new space. Oh, yeah. I don't know, I told you guys that yet. Fuck yeah. Um, and then we're waiting to hear back from the electrician so we can get the uh, electrical sorted out because we fucking got this new space. I didn't tell the podcast folks, but we got this new space. And uh, they told us it was 200 amps, so it's actually only 80 amps, which is like nothing. That's like just that one of our kilns that yeah. we need in the space. Yeah. Like 80 amps isn't even enough. So we're in the process right now of just trying to figure out how to upgrade everything because it's a bigger deal to upgrade stuff on a commercial space than it is on a residential space just because we're in. A commercial property with units and shit. I'm stealing this real quick, Brian. Do it. I need a marble for this. But yeah, stoked to get in there for the most part, you guys. It's gonna be like, um, there will probably only be a couple days we really need help over there. We'll probably be mostly just, it won't be like this one, mm-hmm. where we're like building out for a month. Right. Uh, not blowing glass. Like, we'll be working the entire time and then basically, like, I'll have contractors building because everything has to be permitted right. and done like a certain way because it's a commercial space can't just go in there with my dad and like do it so right. for the most part like you guys are gonna just walk in once it's pretty much done I think the days I'm gonna need help over there like moving equipment in right um and then that's probably it I don't know because like everything's gonna be done third party for the most part nice. so yeah I mean you guys probably won't see it till July but we're gonna start the working process here after like next week or the week after Jeez, um, we're bring so my parents out <clears> and then because my dad is going to do some stuff in the front part that we don't have to do permit stuff, like just like painting the offices and shit, like that type of stuff is so whatever. Right. But any electrical or HVAC stuff, all that kind of shit, have to pretty much have like permits for, so. Yeah, how would they make their money? <coughs> yeah, right. <Hey> right. <laughs> it's crazy. But it's probably... You can't picture. just have your dad do it. <laughs> <laughs> big picture, all that shit's for safe, like everyone's safety, though. Yeah, no doubt. I want to make sure, like, there's a lot of people that know that it's done right, just not me and my dad, you know, so. Just means we can keep crushing. 
Yeah, we don't have to work like, as hard. Last well, time when I mean, we did this in 2019, because Brandon Cormack got here for that, that sucked. It was almost six weeks of no glass blowing. It doesn't even feel like that. Yeah, because like, I was like not even blowing glass yeah, when we did that. It was all it was August, like, when I first came on. September. Yeah, it was like a summer break. Yeah. It was weird. I it was remember weird, that. Yeah. We were doing days of like, I was, you know, we were just doing concrete work and building benches, putting hoods together. Because yeah. that was literally like my I first couple weeks here. It was, like was just building out the studio. Yeah. We were like, yeah. we were all, we were, me and you were like, all right, it's our first day glass blowing yeah. in like a, a couple months yeah. now. We'll this, how this time will not be like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was, that was tough, dude. It took me fucking months to recover from that shit. That shit was wild. It was so worth it. And so, that's, it was so frustrating that when the city came and did this shit though, because I'm like, Look how nice this is, though. Yeah, and you realize what I just did? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even done yet. We haven't yeah. got the foot pedals hooked up yet. Yeah. Come on, guys. Maybe I subconsciously knew that's so how I didn't hook up the foot pedals. I was like, I know. I was like, we're moving. We're going to have yeah. to move. <coughs> we were looking at buildings like a couple weeks before. Because once Mike started, I was like, oh, we need more space. And then we like we're already looking at buildings, but like I was like this shit's gonna be too expensive. Like right. nothing gonna happen right now. It was on the back burner. It was yeah, kind of on the back burner until like we could you know until the world got a little bit better situation. But then we were mm-hmm. like, once you're forced to do something, you're just like, all right, let's figure it out. But yep. I think the situation we got now is gonna be, it's gonna be the best like possible situation for the circumstances, just because. The landlords already love us. The manager of the property loves us. They like our, They like the business. They think it's really cool what we do. They've seen the Instagrams, the website. Oh, There's nice. no secrets. They know exactly what we make. They know we make dope ass hammers. They know that I do big globs out of them. Um, yeah. But so overall, like for the circumstances, at least I, like I don't have to have like a landlord that's like, you know, like no marijuana related stuff like this or that. Like they were like just cool with everything. Um, so even though it was like really intense, it's like big picture. It's like, you know, it could have been worse. Things could have been worse. Yeah. Like we're figuring it the fuck out. Well, thankfully <laughs> we're in a time where it's, it's getting a little bit more regulated, like yeah. the weed industry. Definitely. So it doesn't scare people as much. It doesn't scare people as much, exactly. Like landlords and stuff aren't as much like worried about someone putting a big grill in a building It's like or something. You know, opening a yeah. fucking brewery yeah. next door, dude. Because like you can't just yeah, grow a bunch of weed. Same, same essentially, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Even I feel like even a brewery might even be like more. There might even be more hesitation. Oh, bro, yeah, that. people get fucking, uh, fucking just ready. wild and get drunk it's and start having fights depending on the crowd you bring in. Yup, yeah, I can definitely see how a brewery would not be an ideal candidate for a business neighbor. Yeah, dude. Well, that's like real <laughs> explosives. You know, like, oh no, yeah. It's like alcohol and like oh, high yeah, pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. it's all inside. Man. True. You know, like, Big facts. Yeah, dude, and they, there's probably like a smell from the breweries. I'm sure yep. that they put off like certain from all the like different like you know when they empty out those big like containers full of, like whatever, which is all like, fermentation, the, the mash is it? Or the mush stuff they have, yeah, the leftover garbage from mm-hmm. making the actual fucking yeah. The second hit on that one's always the bigger one. So once it gets inside the chamber, <laughs> <laughs> pretty. I gave you a low tempo though doing that one. That way it's comfy. I'm trying to like. Fry you right in the beginning of the oh, day. Oh, like, that's exactly what I needed. Yeah, dude, because usually I just <laughs> rock myself immediately in these podcasts. <coughs> There's been some episodes where I've made Fish you. poor choices <laughs> and taken way too big of a dab, and then it's just coughing for 20 minutes. And anyone that watches, I'm like, oh, damn, I made it this far for all that. Oh, man, that cab does light up in this light, huh? Bro. Oh, Hell yeah. From the side, oh, it's just yeah. like a fucking like beam of, it's like a laser beam. All oh, the fumes popping on it. <coughs> wow, 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 wow. It's like yeah, emanating. Dude, that sticky grape's good. Yeah, dude, it's it's like a real indica too, though. It's kind of a sleepy one. I took a dab it the other day and like fell asleep like on the couch for a minute. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? It could have been sleep deprivation. <laughs> oh yeah. But I was I was blaming the hash. I, I hash. had slept in days, but I was like, body, you're yeah. so averted to yeah. like sleeping. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm and like, this is why I feel that. Yeah. Like it's that fucking hash I bought. It knocked me out. Yeah. Guess like, you haven't slept in days. So I'm like, sucks. this fucking <laughs> weed, dude. Like, why am I tired? You're supposed to keep me going. Shouldn't be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, dude. But this fucking. Cam wrecker, this shit. Oh, I probably smoked a half ounce of that in the last few weeks. That shit's mm-hmm. so good. Yeah, dude, I've seen it. It keeps me awake. It tastes super. And it doesn't get me so stoned that like I can't work. Like some stuff, I take dabs of, and I'm like, dude, I feel fucking dumb right no, now. Like, I feel like I can't work. Like, yeah. 
Like, I feel like I need to sit down. Like, bro. It's like riding a bike on a park road. Day, like, fuck. Right? <laughs> the other day, I took it, like two dabs before I helped Danielle with dinner. <laughs> you mean and stood and watched Danielle make dinner? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, but I was just thinking to myself, I was like, I can't believe I'm like looking at my hands and I'm not controlling them at all. <laughs> I was straight up cutting these onions and like peppers so poorly. Like, I was just, like, it was That's like so slipping funny. all over the place, and I was just cutting everything like yeah. diagonally and nice. shit. And I was like, oh, yeah. That's um, still I was thinking to myself you the whole time. You cut, bro. I thought you wanted a stew cut, bro. That <laughs> rough stew cut. That's how that's what that is. Yeah, bro. I always try and imagine that I'm on Master Chef. Yeah, dude. That you know you were on Master Chef. I'm gonna get eliminated if my cuts aren't. Like super proportional. Oh, dude, you were eliminated that day, then, dude. You were oh, done. yeah, dude. you were done. Oh, I think this guy did too many drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm always so mad. I'm like always blown away that they do have those people at Master Chef, the people that just can't like cut like oh, dice yeah. an onion properly or whatever. Out, out I'm like, the, like, how did you get eliminated? Out of the right millions now? of people who like professionally cook in the, this country, you're like, yeah. you're like, how are you the one that's on this show right now? Yeah. There's got to be at least a hundred other people that could have eaten. Way more qualified, but yeah. then you gotta realize most of those people like have bills to pay and families to take care of. Like, I can't even leave work for a fucking week to come to your damn TV show. Like, right. I gotta crush. Dude. Yeah, that's true. Like, like it is. It's restaurant work is brutal, man. Like, it, like it's no joke. I should know. Like our producer shaking his yeah. head, like he does it all the time. Like it's fucking brutal ass work. And if you want to make good money at it, you gotta work all the time at it. It's dude. fucking dude. I just I worked. In, I worked in a golf course, like just a little like uh, country. Like it was like yeah. basically like a country club <laughs> kitchen, if you want to call it. It wasn't a country club, but yeah. it was like a public golf, like <laughs> nicer one. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, dude, I would just have to like run. I would have to man it with like another dude by myself, and you're like doing dishes. You're like prepping all the food. Orders come in. All of a sudden, dude, twenty people come in at the end of the. Yeah. Feeding yeah. humans and taking no, care. Oh, bro, when I was working at Blaze before here, you'd oh, come, yeah. you'd come through. Yeah, you'd you see me. So angry, <laughs> see that? Like, hated I it. Like, Brandon's angry at me. I'm like, I don't know. I'm no. like I'll go back. Yeah. No. <laughs> but but dude, you got to realize you have people like literally coming into a pizza place asking you like, do you guys have pe- pepperoni? And it's like, Not bro, like. How does this work? Do you know how to read? <laughs> Sign. <laughs> you build your. It's like Subway for pizza. I don't. Don't well, understand. Dude, when you work in like normal like people world stuff like restaurants or grocery stores and stuff like oh, that. Oh, you like, gotta dumb it down. You get you get a real like taste of like where a lot of people are at, and you're like, oh damn, like. And then you get. I honestly get envious of a lot of folks. So I'm like, you live in a world that's like you're like so like distracted and odd yep. that like you're very happy. Like yeah. like yeah. like ignorance is bliss. Okay. And I'm like, I'm, I get envious. I'm like, damn, I want to be that ignorant to the world right now. Like, I like ignorance is bliss. Turn it off. a real fucking Girl. thing, dude. Like, yeah. sometimes that's why, like, anyone that watches too much YouTube videos and conspiracy shit, you're going to get stressed out because you're going to be like, I know too much. <laughs> like, yeah. I know too much. Like, I'm, like I, 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 I can't. Guilty. I can't know anymore. I'm stressed the fuck out. Yeah, dude, no. yeah. Like, that, that's what happened to me with conspiracy stuff because I was heavy into it a few years ago for a while. <laughs> For like years, for like probably five. Well, it started with weed. I started smoking weed and immediately got into conspiracies and got heavy for like five, five years. <laughs> then like, like my daughter was born, Cormac started working here, and then I started getting out of it right around then. Because I was like, wait, I have a daughter. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I was like, I'm too stressed out watching this conspiracy shit, and now my kids stressing me out. I was like, I don't need to add to my plate. I was like, yeah. I think I'll just pick my kids stressing me out, and like I'll like <laughs> leave, let the world do its thing. Let the world burn. Like, they don't need that. me worrying about it. Like right there's, now. there's other people getting yeah, paid to worry about it. This there's this dude I watch makes videos. He'll worry about it for me. I'll get caught up in a few months if my kid doesn't stress me out as much. See, I love being. I like. I think walking around. I like walking around with a big dumb smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's just nice, man. You know? Yeah, dude. But it's you awesome. Just, you just. If you just have a little smirk to it all the time, yeah. you I'm just like feel fucking good. dead yeah. face, dude. I'm just like. Dude, I, I feel like I walk around with a smile, but I actually probably no emotion around, on my face. Like, looking like I'm pissed off most of the time. That, no, I blatantly try to project that yeah. image so people don't approach me with their stupid bullshit. Yeah, Cassie says I, I can't. usually look irritated, but like I always catch myself smiling. If I catch myself in a mirror or a reflection, I for some reason smile myself. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, keep smiling. I just keep fucking rolling. Then, yeah. And then maybe with like, I, and then I'd start like not smiling again. I don't know, dude, but I always right. catch myself doing that shit something to that man. yeah i don't know what it is i try to like i don't know that's weird bro maybe i can't like, do I it like smile myself right now. i love making faces yeah. in the mirror it's yeah fun, dude. dude i want to do that mushrooms dude oh uh, no yeah. he's scary bro it, it, <laughs> i catch I, I catch myself that's what i was gonna bring up was like i catch myself like, like i'm going to take a piss i'm like on my way out and if like it's a bad like time during the trip 
it'll look bad. But if I go back there and I like, catch myself, I'm like, hey, yeah. hey. <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, man, we're fucking here, dude. We're doing this. I think about it. I think but it's yeah, like I it. smiling at myself in the mirror, like, during my first heavy trip. I think I've been doing it since. Mm. Like, because, like, I remember that, like, I was super stressed out at a moment during my trip, and I went and looked in the mirror and started smiling at myself. I was like, I'm good, bro. I'm, like, good. Like, like yeah. I don't know why. I, was, I think I was stressed out because I couldn't understand what anyone was saying in the room, and it looked like everyone was talking to someone else. And I was like, I'm fucking well, everyone's going crazy. Speaking in tongues. And, oh. then I was like, and then I was like, how am I going to get everyone to the hospital? I'm all fucked up, too. And I was like, yeah, I was trying to think how I'm going to save everybody, and I started stressing out, and my cat oh, was blue. No. Oh, why is my cat blue? Oh, that yeah. was crazy. And I started <laughs> smiling at myself in the mirror, and I was fine. I was like, we're good, bro. We're good, Brandon. You want this one, dude? Yeah, I'll take it. We'll just go in order. Yeah, dude. Make it easy. Well, I just saw Mike just took a dad a minute ago, so I didn't know if he was ready for one. Oh, no, he's yeah. all set up. Yeah, so I saw it. Yeah, dude, he's ready. What are you going in on, dude? Yeah. Uh, whatever this is. is. Headspace? Headband. headband. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, I threw that on the table. Yeah, it's good. Some rosin. Ooh, headbands? Like yeah, smoke it out. favorite strains. Yeah, I saw it at the Spencer there. I bought it for, like, to do the episode. It's, like, a fresh ground. That's so. just one of those OG strains that's still around. Yeah, dude. It's still kicking, dude. I've been missing Golden Goat. I'm like, oh, oh I'm, fuck, I'm, dude. Like real Golden Goat. Oh, you were just talking that. about that not too long ago. <clears throat> Golden Goat. Like, Hit her every time. Train haze, been Especially too. Buds is like fucking long ass hairs on the Golden Goat. <sighs> just the way the hash tasted, though, dude. It was always so crazy. Yeah. Recon. Do you ever smoke Recon? No. Yeah, no. I should know what Recon is. Yeah, yeah. Was that Fire Strain? That was the nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. oh, my God. I think we I have a couple of friends that back in the day. Just put it on the nail before you pull on it. Just get your hat out, shine the nail. Don't even waste your breath until it's like on the fucking nail. Because it's just such a huge nail. <clears throat> there you go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best way to do it. Oh, you see what I mean, dude? Fucking no choice, bro. Stunner Dads needs to get on this, dude. I they're fucking pieces in a boxer. They're ready to ship. Oh, it's still going to them. Yeah, no, oh, cool. I've, I, I was, I, I just been lazy. I Matt gave me all the info. Oh, he, cool. He hit me up the other day and was like stressed out, and then I was like, dude, I'll send you an email once it's shipped. And uh, he sent me a DM yesterday just to check what's up. He's like antsy. I think he like <laughs> wants it. He's yeah. like, he's like, he's he's like, like wait, this is cool. Yeah. And then I fucking had. Uh, I think it's sick. This dude like <laughs> comments me on Chrissy D's thing. <coughs> and he pimp hit me up. What? What? He dabs, I guess. Oh yeah. Good. And yeah. they're like, yeah. and they're like, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, let's talk. <coughs> I'm a Chrissy D. I was like, almost pimps the Chrissy doesn't dab too. Chris doesn't dab. Oh yeah, but, he just does edibles. Yeah, but because um, I even asked, <coughs> Chrissy's like, no, he's like, but like. He's like, I do, and he's like, we would like, definitely would be cool to like have a piece, and like, I'm like, all right, oh, I was like, so dude, I, dude. you need to, yeah, if you have the connect with homeless pimp, you gotta yeah. be like, next time Chris is in Denver, I bet you could get like good tickets or sure, something yeah, or something, you know what I mean? Like, hell yeah, sick, go yeah. go dab with homeless pimp backstage <laughs> before Chris goes. Yeah, I doubt they do that, but that'd be sick, though, dude. <laughs> I think he's a real professional. I think homeless pimp. Yeah, yeah, I think that's why he does so well. He also is like talented, but I think he like really keeps it together for the boys like on the podcast he seems like holds it down oh yeah like he knows what's up everyone talks so highly of him like you hear like everyone and like but you don't see him around so i'm like if they're talking that highly of him and he's that crucial yet you don't really see him he must Mm -hmm. be like a mega professional those are the dudes that really get it going for the podcast yeah you know hell yeah like i don't know i look up to those guys though dude it's so funny like because even like during like history hyenas like you'd hear chris talking about the homeless pimp and shit and i'm like dude mm-hmm. that dude's been like doing it for who was before i have no pimp. idea what they're talking about pimp. wasn't it like a? <laughs> I don't know man. i don't know I, don't remember, but I, I think like that's was, from before time. homeless pimp was what, like probably the last six months of history hyenas or so yeah he was like yeah he was like the newest yeah when yeah, dude. When he came on, or whatever, oh, we're doing yeah. podcasts like third party talk right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was I, I was like, I was like, I was like, I have no idea who they're talking yeah, about. Yeah, sorry. I was like, I know podcasts, but I don't know who. I was like, I don't know who. It's so easy. Was, it's so easy. Was, was Eddie or no, that's all I talk was Chris? <laughs> that's all I listen to is podcasts. No, dumb podcast talk, dude. But big picture is, I'm talking to all sorts of podcast people I really look up to and appreciate their content. And I think that in the future, as we build Bear Mountain Studios, like, there's going to be, like, these connections that will lead to, like, other sorts of, like, opportunities. Not as far Podcast as, like, making collabs. money or anything, but maybe, like, as, you know, Just networking, networking yeah. content, um, you know, getting, because, like, my thing is, is, like, even, like, Cassie and the talking, she's like, well, like, she's like, it's cool you want to, like, give this person a piece of her, she's like, but, like. 
She's like, we don't have anything extra to sell. Like, the drops are good. And I'm like, it's not about, like, selling stuff. It's like, I want people to recognize it. I want it to just be right. recognizable. I want it to become, like, Even a household name. Even if it's not name. circulating on the, yeah. the group, like, Instagram, <laughs> Instagram yeah, I want it's circulating in a whole other group of yeah, people. Yeah, and I just want people know? seeing it. Just, like, I don't go out and buy Nikes, but if I see a Nike symbol, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, when people, like, even if you don't buy pipes, but you maybe smoke a little weed, I want you to know what my brand is. Right. I want you to know RVRs. I want you to know Barron Studios. No, yeah. So, so that's more my point. Is like, if all of a sudden all these podcasters now have like Bear Mountain shit randomly on their on the sides or in the background, like actually Rick Glassman just hit me up. His goblin got knocked off Brooks' foot. No, I was like, I'll fix her. her. I'll fix her. But yeah, so they'll be easy fix up. Yeah, it's easy. Um, but yeah, like having that in the background, I think like big picture. Even and this is years from now, maybe a decade from now, but I think it will have an, an impact overall. Like and for me too, I just like like these people, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I watch your shit all day while I'm blowing glass. Like for real, here's a piece. Like I want you no, to know yeah. my art. Like because I I consume so much of your art. Like, Bro, and you, it's not it's not like you're it's not like yeah. you were paying for most of the content. No. There's a few that you no. may subscribe to, but yeah, most of it's, it's YouTube free. free yeah, like, that's what I that's like yeah. literally what I told like. It's the least like, I can do, you know, to Matt, some extent. Matt Shane, I was like, dude, like, cause he like, he like keeps, like, he multiple times was like, dude, let me pay you, let me pay I'm like, nah, dude, like, I was like, let me just send this to you. I've watched at least like a hundred episodes. <laughs> at least. At least. Yeah. And like more. And like, and I'm subscribed to the Patreon stuff. Like, you know, I'm, I'm here to support. Like those guys are super funny. They remind me so much of people from the East Coast I grew up with that it's like, I think that's like what a lot of people find in podcasts. They just find like similar personalities to Maybe friends they grew up with or people oh, that bro. they like. That's why with. your mom's house is so fucking oh, dude, like yeah, key with me, same. dude. It's me, it's me and my friends. Like literally, it's the shit we would joke around about. Yeah, man. And that's why like I'll rant about podcasts all day, dude. Because that's like literally all I do. Just watch I podcasts, blow day, glass, man. smoke hash, and that. And I make a podcast too. I've been doing this thing for two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And to me, it doesn't feel like anything. It just feels like yeah, dog, part of my resume. Episode one hundred, dude. That's insane. Episode one hundred. I haven't even had to congratulations. Like, yeah, yeah, dude. Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's yeah. Def, Let's talk about that. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big thing. Uh, the podcast that I was on, I was going to uh, mention this real quick, but when I was uh, like just out of high school, me and like a uh, group of homies, there was one guy who went to Full Sail. He was like kind of like a editor director type dude. We did like a movie, like games, metal music, like type podcast yeah. called a uh, Full Metal Nerdcast for like a couple like six months, and that's we went through so like good. twenty <laughs> episodes, awesome. I think, before that's we just it. went. Pfft, Dude, it's hard, man. It's re it really hard, is. Dude, so, is. So, yeah, making it like do 100 is a big bro. deal, like, man. You forget to water yeah. it once, it fucking dies, yeah. and you gotta try and grow it back. Especially with multiple people, like, yeah. scheduling is hard, oh, dude. dude. For sure. That's it's why, just, like, you know. I would actually love my podcast in the future to be, like, more of, like, a group thing, because I've done, like, so many solo casts, and, like, that's, like, a real, like, training ground, too, because you're like, whoa, I gotta, like, just talk and, like, yeah. somehow make an hour, like, somewhat interesting. You're feeling dead air, essentially. Yeah. But, like, <clears throat> I don't know, man, like, the podcast has been a really big thing for me because I have so many different collectors around the world that can't get their glass. Like, here's the podcast is big internationally. Honestly, that's the thing that's really funny about it is that like where I find it being popular is places like like Italy or Canada or Spain, just like random places. Like, and people hit me up like, "Oh, I love your podcast. I don't have any glass." And some people don't even smoke. I'm like, "Why are you watch my podcast and smoke?" It's like, but they just like it for some reason and i'm like oh that's fucking sick that's awesome. yeah. like i wouldn't even connected or with these people or like <laughs> had them watching this if i didn't commit to how many episodes i've done because they would they never saw like episode 20 they didn't start watching until into the 60s or yeah. 70s or yeah whatever it is. the internet's just like a big ocean dude it is it there's is. so many weird fish swimming around in there dude dude what i'm stoked about too is hitting episode 100 now when i talk to other podcasters like and they ask if they get done 100 episodes, 100 one hour episodes. They're like, okay, like they take you more serious than if you've been doing it a little long. Because a lot of people start podcasts, and like it's hard to get a podcast big and popular. And that's not even really my goal. I'm just trying to have like another space to express myself and have cool ways to show my glass off, and not yeah. just like a 10 second video on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and for collecting, yeah, because you really go in better. depth and like actually talk about every little minute detail yeah. that you want to talk about and explain everything. Because yeah, there's people, and there's is, people who want to hear that shit. All that shit. Dude. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like. Yeah, podcasts are definitely hard, and I was thinking, well, especially when you start off with, like, full production, almost, yeah. like, with video, a lot of podcasts are still audio only. Audio, we stuff, started you know? with video out the gate. I know, but that's like, what you need, because yeah, you're showing shit. your product. Exactly. And, and, and like, a lot of, I don't know, like, I'm just turning off for you, bro. Oh, it takes bro. forever. That's the only thing. The dab right is a single click, the fucking temp tag. You gotta hold it for about mm, three yeah. or four seconds, press to turn on. Temp tag. <clears throat> I like the temp tag a lot. It's the main one feels, I use. Feels more sturdy, in my opinion. Yeah. 
and the, let's see if the temp seems accurate, but really that the temp accuracy doesn't matter so much. You just have to figure out whatever unit you own, just take a Sharpie and write on the bottom <coughs> what temp you like to take your dabs at on that unit. Because every unit's gonna be different. If you go to your friend's office and you're like, I love 550, then you hit that 550 on his temperature reader and you fucking take a hot dab and you're really bummed or a really cold dab. All of, everything's different, each one. That's like, it's hard. I don't know if they could make a really small like temperature reading unit that was like ultra accurate across the board for every unit. I think it'd be pretty hard. I think there's like a little... Well, it's like every nail heats up different too. Yeah. It does, yeah, it radiates heat off different, especially wherever you dump the heat into the nail. Someone was posting like a thermal shot of them heating up a nail yeah. and it shows like the temp. Showing how like That's cool. you unevenly heat it. and Yeah, because like, yeah. it was showing if you just heat it like a slurper style just from the base, like yeah. this, like the, the uh, bucket barely gets like hot at all. Hot at it like, all, stays yeah. at like the 300s the whole yeah, time. Yeah, that's why whatever. I use two blazers now even when I heat up the small ones, bro. I have one on the bottom and I have one on the top. Just do the top part of the barrel, dude. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's absurd. It's such a waste of butane. It's faster, though. <laughs> it's definitely faster. And, like, at the end of the day, you're just trying to get these things in quick when you fucking got a lot going on. Efficiency. Happens. That's a high restriction 14 mil right there. That's why I love this fat nail, dude. For all the giant pieces, bro, this is, like, this thing. I love it. Sometimes I have nightmares about it breaking. Like, oh, damn, I, have to I just have nightmares about it. Just have nightmares about it. <laughs> I'm still traumatized from the hot dab I took on that thing. Oh, dude, yeah. You took yeah. the 550. We were just talking about the like, situation. So, <laughs> man. Yeah, it was rough, dude. A hot dab on the big one will get you. Yeah. And it's happened to me a bunch of times, too, dude. You know, it builds character, like I said. <laughs> For sure. That's the truth, though. Man, I'm, like, so excited to build this new spot, though, and, like, do it. Like, there's a bunch of stuff I would change about this studio. Oh, so man, not it's going to be sick. I, can I can't wait to just, like... Make, make, sure I, make sure I do it, like, even better there. Yeah, dude, I'm excited, too, bro, to do all that. And, uh, <coughs> I fucking... Well, you know how, like, uh, some glass blowers, they have, like, little, like, knickknacks and yeah. shit on the kiln? Like, I have... I, like, literally pick up things when I go out. I'm like, oh, this yeah. is going to be dope at my station. Like, oh, this is going to be dope at my well, station. Well, not flammable. <laughs> Well, and, I mean, and that, and that, it can yeah. they can melt and like you know they're. Uh, but I'm gonna put day, them in areas where I they won't. All right. Table on fire the other day. And hey, like, yeah, you yeah. know, and just, you know, only Brandon saw it. But, but like what? Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, no, it was alcohol all over the table. And it was like it was like a, oh, it was like a hibachi. It was like a hibachi, hibachi table, yeah, bro. Yeah, it was like a hibachi table. We just needed an onion, dude. The, the Q-tips, everything. Yeah. I was like, fuck it, you know, we're just. He's like, Brandon was stressing out. I was like, yeah, it's cool, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. I but but the funny thing was, I was like looking at it, and he like blew it out with his like with his you know with his breath. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I was like, I'm gonna put this out. And there's a fire extinguisher right here. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, with his breath. But I was like, how am I gonna put this out? And there's a fire extinguisher shown right there. I didn't even think about the fire extinguisher. So Didn't even think about the fire extinguisher. It was not a thought. So funny, That's so funny. <laughs> it's just like a uh, fire. What am I gonna do? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, not the, the fire space, extinguisher. Like, we'll probably like have to be like a little bit like low key for a little bit with like the dabs and stuff, just till we feel out the area and make sure that no one's gonna get sassy with us. Let's chill. Um, but like we could like bake pen. It's my weed like that. though, right? <laughs> 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 A couple of ones, right? I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but like, I'm, I'm just like saying, like, we'll probably, like, as we get in there, we'll feel it out, see how it's seen and stuff, and like, play it by ear just because I don't own the building. Yeah. So, and uh, wouldn't want those goofballs trying to kick us out of there, but they, they already know what the deal is. I showed them some cool dad videos, like, check this one out. They know what's up. Yeah. Like, watch this. Show them the tech tech one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the ones I always show them. I was like, this is my worst. I want you to see this. So you if know. you had one video to send to the aliens. This is how, this is how oh, dangerous dude, I am. Yeah, if I sent one video to the aliens, it for sure would be that. I'm dude. dangerous yeah. with them finger like, cords. This is, they would think it's some kind of, like, dimension. Never let them know your next move to the max, bro. Like, people yeah. don't even know, bro. They're like, what is he going to do? Oh, that. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I never thought of that. <laughs> And that's how I want to keep it. Hell yeah. Especially in this day and age when everything is like, every time I open my phone, it's just like stressful stuff and sad things happening. I'm like, I'm just trying to have a silly fun time as much as possible while not being, ignoring stressful things, but like trying to enjoy myself where I kind of being goofy because <laughs> shit is just, it's hard. You know, that's why I think I watch mostly comedy podcasts now. I used to be a big Ro Rogan guy and I don't watch a lot of Rogan anymore because it's much less comedy and it's much more world events or problem yeah. solving what's going which i do watch those yeah. but lately since everything's been stressful the last few months extra i've been just like only comedy podcasts strictly not watching any of the artificial intelligence shit or any of the no, bro, I shit. Can't even, i'm just like 100 i just gotta laugh yeah <laughs> yeah that's it I, Oof. 
Well, how many podcasts? Yeah, that's the only thing I can listen to, really. Yeah, dude. Speaking speaking of AI, I saw this video that was talking about the. It was like a video just like about the Unreal Engine Five, which is like the latest Unreal Engine for video games and stuff, and how like realistic it is. And uh, there was like Reddit threads and comments, and I just kind of like saw a little blurb, and I had this thought that uh, if like we live in a simulation and then we're creating this you know Unreal Engine, what if we're supposed to recreate this? And once we do, then we're like. Uh, initiated into the upper levels of like consciousness or whatever. Oh, right? dude. But AI is crazy. I think that's, that's all that's going to happen yeah. with that too, is like, <clears throat> but I had that thought the other day. Like, get augmented that's into cool. like virtual reality. So we but it's like recreating into, like, what we're living in. I think we're just going like, to like, the they're going to have goal. like a, a program in there that just makes us forget. Uh, where we came from, and then we just wake up in our world as a baby, dude. and we're like, okay, what? oh, that's all right. We, we were just fun. talking about. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> Layers of reality. Dude, I can barely remember what I had for dinner the other day. Sometimes, dude, and that's how just because there's so much. Just because there's so much dude. shit going. I have so much shit going through my head. Dude, literally, dude. that's how much shit I have going through my no, head. I'm like, what did I have for dinner? That's healthy, bro. <laughs> Don't know what's happening. Don't I, remember what. I'm dinner. just here and now, like at <laughs> any moment, bro. Here and now. Completely lost. I yep. promise you, you will be much happier. I try. The more you find, the less you'll be happy, bro. Don't don't look for it. Just be like, where the fuck am I? Yeah. Dude. Dang. There. Don't let it happen. It's crazy how the bubbles kind of almost get pulled up into the that middle train because right. of the water. So it's kind of like got a little bit of like percolation there too. It's got like a backflow on it. Nice. Yeah. Got something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seen wow. um that? I think it's Di Matteo. <coughs> Di Matteo art. They make like all these. Oh, yeah, yeah. These yeah. inserts. The uh, little like all the characters. Tiny characters. Yeah. yeah. It's like she's. Very trolls. detailed. Yeah, it's like one person right or is it a couple or. I think that it's a husband wife. Yeah. I, mean, I can't, I don't know. I think the wife she makes also, I think the husband might make something else. I, think I was under the impression that. Yeah, like she does a lot that of that. She stuff. Yeah, her stuff is yeah. so cool. I always. Oh, it's insane. I love the, like, I love her art and like all the stuff she makes, but I really love, honestly, looking through the comment section, seeing all the positive. And how much people love her Dude, work and stuff. You can't get enough of yeah, it. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. I love seeing people hyped up. And I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. That's almost one of the most pure ways of feeling good is when you start feeling good for someone you don't even know. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, that feels good. I don't even know you, but I'm excited to see you doing okay, like, or doing well. Like, yep. <laughs> like when I saw Chrissy post a photo with Rogan, I was like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Get it, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he doesn't know me, he'll never know me, bro, but. Yeah, dude. I thought that was cool as hell. I was stoked for him. Yeah, do you know you're gonna know? You got a homeless pimp in your nah, back pocket dude. now. Dude, yeah, they, they, they just want to do drugs on a rig, probably. You yeah, know, I'm but, nobody. Oh, dog. But no, <laughs> my brain instantly went to like, what if you just get like uh, all the communities to come here and take devs? And, dude, well that's like, what I'm thinking. I'm like actually, a Colorado experience podcast, bro, and like, I'll have and my new space bill here and get super, super. Bro, dude, so I'm telling you, I'm super. I'm gonna change like the podcast <laughs> might change a little bit in the future if I have like a big commercial space and space where I can do bigger podcasts or events or stuff like that. Like I could potentially, and if I have a hundred plus episodes under my belt where other podcasters and producers take us seriously, yeah, we could could potentially swing and get people to do get bigger podcasters and not to make my podcast bigger, but for us to have a good time. It's well, a real selfish act. Yo, well, like this. Like, it's like hot ones. <laughs> yeah. It's like hot ones. Oh, dude, hot ones, but with dude. dabs. With weed. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Let's fucking go, dude. Cut the tape. Cut the tape. <laughs> <laughs> Edit that out. That's an original idea. Yeah, that's <laughs> Write that down. Hot ones with weed, though. Yeah, dude. That, that'd be fucking fun as hell. You know what I mean? You would have just to work your way. But, but, number 10, but number 10 is actually DMT. <laughs> no, every every dab is actually just ten degrees. Hot. That's how they make it seem like when they when yeah, they was, just work their way up to your grand. I was like, no, no, each dab gets hotter. We start at four eighty and we work our way up to seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. 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 like each dab gets hotter. It's like, can you take this? Yeah. Yikes! Hot dab? Like, yeah, yeah. It's just like immediately but it evaporates. But it's still be like you know measured out where it's still like you know. Because we got to do what the yeah we got to be able to do enough of it. But well, we got to do what the what the uh, the marijuana registry says. You know the that little pamphlet with the oh, tiny yeah, dot, yeah. Bab. I the dot. We got to <laughs> sure. I got a pamphlet. You right put the dot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's dude, how you make it's it. so ridiculous. It's all, like, oh yeah, good. let me take this dude, dab. Dude, we but, might. I mean, might be able to get Musk on there, bro. Dude. Yeah. yeah, man, he went on Rogan, dude. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, dude. Like, you have to inhale. Like, you could just like. 
I love yeah. all the memes that make it look like he yeah. like started blasting off yeah. on the after he did that though or whatever. So just like, yeah. Like, yeah. Dude, but speaking of that, I, that is what they <coughs> act like on hot ones when they get to the hottest uh, wing. They always make. It I've seem never like seen it, but dude, I've seen. Dude, like, I mean, last, like, I've had some pretty hot stuff in my mouth. Not, <laughs> you know. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I, I was waiting. I was giving you time. I was. I, I set it up. Oh, okay. I set it up unintentionally. I was waiting for the jokes. But anyways, spicy. I've had some yeah. spicy foods. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I've never like. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine. Like I've been under Dude, some intense heat. For some guests, will. they might not want to smoke, so we might have to flop it where the host just basically does like a lot of dabs in front of them. Like I do a, a large mm-hmm. pile of drugs in front of them and ask them questions. <laughs> long. Like I'm doing these drugs. Like. Because, you know, like, we might limit ourselves on guests if they have to consume that amount of cannabis. You know what well, that's why, well, that's, I feel like even on, I feel, I've heard rumors that on hot ones, you know, they, they the, the sauces aren't that hot. Yeah. You know who they have on there? A-list actors. They yeah. don't have act that they're getting the spices. Want, dude, yeah, know? they don't want, like, diarrhea later with hot poops. Right. Like, they're rich. <laughs> so, our, our uh, similar no. version would just be to trade it out for a CBD diet. Exactly, bro. You know I mean? Oh, bro. see? There that's a go. great call. And another thing, talking about that, the only reason poops are hot is because you have taste buds on your asshole. Did you guys know that? What? No. I no. The same the cells. I feel, like, I feel like I have heard this <laughs> somewhere, no, though. This is my life. You can't debunk it. <laughs> Don't debunk my life, bro. This is, not, this is my foundation, bro. Don't even start with it. I can barely do jalapenos anymore, guys. I can barely do jalapenos. That would make me... <laughs> Pooping so uncomfortable, dude. Yeah, it's like the you, whole time. You, you, no, but they're no, they're. Really, but you don't really taste no, they're mild. It's just the spice. No, it's well, just no, like it's heat. only the spice because they're mild taste buds. Oh, they're not like we have tons of different types of taste buds in our tongue. It's not just one. It's it's a certain type of taste bud cell, specific type of cell. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say like a jalapeno it, isn't like a flavor. And it only picks up on really like of. spicy or like really sour things that are like super like itchy. I think. Oh, okay. Like hot is super hot. Whoa. Like. Or huh. itchy's just dirty asshole. I don't know. No, itchy's um, dirty yeah. asshole, bro. For sure. Yeah, but either way. Um, but, <laughs> All right. <laughs> dude. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Oh, know, shit, Lou, Lou. Hi. Yes, I know. Welcome yeah, to the pod, Lou. Hi, Episode hi, 100. You did it. I, it's kisses. This is... Yeah, this happens. Dude. Okay. But that'd no, be fucking come crazy. On, yeah. Yeah. I think in the future totally have a podcast where we're getting... People on that maybe aren't even part of the industry, like the glass industry so much. Just people who are like... I don't know, because I feel like we have to get people interested in this that aren't so, in like, just in, like, the mainstream glass. Like, I'd love to get, like, people like the podcast community, comedians and stuff more into mm-hmm. it. Even if it's, like, cool Denver <laughs> podcast exactly. people or just <clears throat> comedians and, yeah. We'll do it. Like, I, I literally see people have guests on podcasts that are, like, a weed person, and I'm like, bro, like, we need to get out there so that, like, they can get some real weed people in there. Not saying I'm a real weed person, but I can smoke enough hash that the normal person would be like, that guy has done weed before. Oh, yeah. Like, right, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, an, a normal weed smoker would even be like, oh, he's taken a dab before he knows what's going on. Right. Like, I would know enough to, like, hold, keep doing a podcast while smoking a large amount of hash. Yeah. Because I've been practicing for two and a half years. There's been some episodes I get lost by myself where I'm just like, what is happening? I did too much. <laughs> dude. But those are the fun ones. I come you know? in, yeah. After The aftermath of oh, the podcast. Oh, dude. I'm lost, dude. It's just, just a haze in here. It's the fog of war. Dude. <laughs> you know, and, like, but, like, how I feel at it. And you I, walk I around feel... like you, like, were, like, flashbang. Oh, <laughs> 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 Like you I'm saw some so, shit, dude. I yeah, saw some so shit, dude. I'm so fucking high yeah. after these podcasts. And I'm like, I just need to just walk around. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> yeah, like, you just pace like, around. Yeah, 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 that's it. Well, that's just my anxiety, too. You should be pace lots of solving dude, problems. Dude, you should see me in my apartment after work. <laughs> oh, dude. There's just like, like fucking... Dude, like, there's like parts in my <laughs> house where I'm like, how's it on a trail? Like, <laughs> looking out the window. Okay. Walking with the FBI. CIA. Yeah, it's like coming for me. Oh my god, dude! There's been so much pace in trying to figure out this whole thing. It was such a, like it, that was like such a shock. I was like, wait, we've been here for years, bro. Like, what is going on? Why don't Why don't they want us here? It was just a shock. I think I think it was honestly just unlucky. I don't think any other glass board would really have to worry. I think that it was more of like you know, circumstantial and just bad luck. Um, oh yeah, okay. most people don't even like know how to report someone no so, like that's yeah. as a, that's like, what i mean like to, to, you have to be a real certain type of person to like have yeah all of the connects to even like be able to like, especially you know. in the way mine was reported it was so like it was almost like i was like was this a really like a real person or is this like a government person that did that because this is like so like 
professionally done. So many right. layers. I'm like, this doesn't look like like Bob or Nancy just called over and was like, hey, yeah, there's a lot of noise over there. Yeah, no, this right. was like all very specific. It like had like my company name and me and like all these things. I'm like, what is going on? This is all strange. Um, all of it was weird. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's but, just that certain type of nosy person that yeah. gets to that. It's nuts. Really is like, yeah, just super passive. And I, that's why I'm like, how, how do you, why would you even call anyone? Yeah. I would rather be on the basis of like being friendly with my neighbor. Oh, yeah, dude. You oh, know? Well, yeah. And like being able to resolve my I'm, problems I'm myself. I'm still friendly. I'm still, you know? even, if, even, even though I know who did it, I'm still friendly with everyone. Oh, yeah. And, well, and I'm not making I mean, it awkward for them or my, my family. But it's, that's probably one of the hardest things about growing up is like, losing and then not being able to tell anyone or be mad. You have to literally just like lose and just, yeah, and just suck it up it. like well, I'm an adult right yeah, now. Like, and then and, and well, that's, that's just the smartest decision for your business. It, it is for your fam for every even for your neighbors. You know? because I at the end of the day, my neighbors didn't do anything wrong. Okay, they like yeah. they did their what they thought was right and like yeah and they're not that's make them bad people. I see Rand's laughing because I'm trying to be. I would no, I was gonna make I was gonna be like well the Nazis thought they were yeah, doing the right thing. Exactly. I agree. I just there, make the joke. It it's too it opportunistic. It always goes there. I'm not. The, I didn't. I didn't. I'm just. I'm repeating slope. somebody else's joke. It's a it was just slope, opportunistic. You can slip right down the slope to somebody. I know. Dude, I was, this is a PG podcast. I yeah, know. Bro. Oh no, I thought I was crazy shit out here. But we have to check. We have to pretty funny. No, but no, but no generally speaking, like I like everything that I think that I do. Like if I like say like you know whatever, I'm like got road rage on someone for not using their brain clear. Like yeah. I think I'm doing the right thing by like trying to get this person uh, to acknowledge it's just like. To acknowledge the fact that they're not using their blinker and maybe they'll be more mindful of it yeah. but that's never gonna fucking happen remember it's my license plate though so careful on the road i race. know uh, <laughs> it's not it's not really road rage <laughs> i just like uh, i just like no but like when i'm like <laughs> like when i'm behind somebody i'm just like oh god great this guy is not using yeah, his no, blinker i'm not saying, like yeah, I'm you know deliberately like, like trying to like hit like you, you don't know. have to explain yourself i'm just fucking with you <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Oh, dude, see, this is another like, thing where my ignorance is so nice. I feel like I get no road rage. I, yeah. I try, you know, I try to ignore it. That's so the thing, though, dude. Live. I can't I can't ignore it. Dude. I feel like it's just so blatantly obvious that you should... Like, I live in not to say I'm perfect. Bro. I've definitely not used my blinker before, but I try to. Chromax I tonight, definitely try to. Like a, dip, a lot of diplomats in your family, like like people of like wealth and, and like intelligence or something. <laughs> I come from the bloodline of just like crazy people who paint themselves blue and with an axe and just Oh, bro, my dad has a major. Wrote, my, like, dad, my dad anger issues. Like, like, yeah, dude. It's just, yeah, I have that road race bad, though, bro. And I don't, I don't act that, but like, I'm angry when I'm driving all the time. Like, I'm not road race. It's horrible. I definitely picked it up from my dad. Like, I, I it's just, like, yeah, I, like, I, I understand, yeah, but I understand yeah. where he's coming from now. I, I used to kind of, like, disparage him a little bit for his, like, his views, but now I'm like, yeah, he's right. Oh, really, there's a bunch of fucking idiots out there, man. Especially if they come home from work. <laughs> 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 like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die right now. Gonna They're fun. gonna not be safe. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, there was times like every morning, like oh, first of all, no, there was times every morning. <laughs> every morning. <yeah. laughs> every mom, morning. My mom would be so pissed because we were late. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fly over just like lay in bed. And in my neighborhood, there's dips for like the water. Oh yeah. Like every block. So <laughs> <laughs> slam on the brake to get slow enough to go in the dip. Oh, that's yeah. it. <laughs> slam on the brake. Like, what's going on? It's a Subie, right? It's a rally car, dude. Oh yeah, no, she had a a Buick. Oh or... damn, no, you can't be hit the dips nope. in the Buick, bro. Dude, well, it was like a Buick. I don't know yeah. what the fuck it was. <laughs> it was like a Buick <laughs> <laughs> Skylark. Turbo in it, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. She called it like a mom turbo. The Buick LeSabre, bro. Yeah, it was probably yeah, LeSabre. Something like that. The turbo. Yeah, the Link turbo. Yeah, dude. Fucking yeah. sick, bro. Where is Buick from? It was a Buick Buick. Uh, it was Buick. I don't know where Buick was from, honestly, man. I was about to guess. I was going to say Detroit. <laughs> Yeah, like, right. know, it dude. sounds like it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. in Detroit. That's the general motor. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, the GM. Dude, it's fucking crazy. Well, Buick. I don't know. I'm not gonna go. 
I'm just gonna start ripping on Buicks, bro. I'm not gonna get into Buicks. I could really go into Buick, you know, but I'm not gonna get into Buicks. I'm not gonna get into Buicks. I could Bob and Nancy on Buick. Yeah, that's hilarious, bro. Yeah, man, but everything will be all right. To me, it's like a balance. Like, obviously, like, it is a slippery slope. Like, there's extreme versions of all these things where it can lead to, like, people being, like, you know, genocided or whatever. But um, I think in this circumstance, is what I'm <laughs> I like going how you brought through. that back. I think it's <laughs> you went back to it. What I'm going through is uh, pretty normal. And I think that actually the best course of action is to just try to work within codes and compliance and stay respectful until they are disrespectful. Yeah. So um, just because I don't agree with codes that are in place before I move here doesn't mean I'm right. Yeah. Um, and I'm an adult enough to like admit and know that. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm fucking just, I'm trying to learn. I'm 32 years old, so I'm just like, you know what? Like, I don't know everything. Like, so let me just learn. <coughs> and I'm young enough to fail oh, and figure it out. Yeah. yeah. And if it got to the point where things were really getting out of hand <coughs> and, just and they were coming after me, then I'd handle it differently. I wouldn't just, like, bend over and take it, bro. I fucking take it. They, believe me, my, my. No, if they like, went about it any other way, that's the other thing. Any other way, yeah. Because yeah. believe me, my attorney and everything already wanted to go after the city. And I was like, nah, dude, I want to just keep it chill. I want to, like. <coughs> oh, yeah. You're not trying like, to become, like, no. the case of the town. No, or not, I'm trying to become a guy. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> I want to be well known. I want people to be like, oh, we love Fair Mountain Studios. Like, I want to be like, oh, they were easy to work with. We, we asked them to move and they were just easy and polite and yeah. we figured it out as a community. Right. I want to be part of the community. So my goal is not to <coughs> cause issues. So I'm just trying to is learn. There's like other <coughs> big glass blowing studios. There is. Things. And they've been here for decades. Yeah. And, if they and they do it, pop up I, stuff around town. They yeah. Do, you know, so even I, like, even just like, bro. Uh, I don't want to be a nuisance. Can do that, I don't know? want to be a nuisance. Right. So that's where I'm at. But, uh, well, that's what I was kind of thinking. I didn't want to say. It was like, well, you'll probably, it's probably all just be like forgotten about within like three years. Oh, you know I think so, I mean? for like, sure. And I no think, one will even know what's dude, going on. Like, yeah. yeah. And that's how I look at it. And honestly, in a few years, maybe we'll be doing even better. And I'm like, oh, thank God that happened. Got us yeah, out yeah. of the garage, you know? Because, yeah. like, a lot of big companies start in the garage, and it's like, when do you get out of the garage, though, you know? Yep. Yeah. So we we're, we're like a chrysalis. To, yeah, dude. Or whatever. Uh, what was I was gonna say Bill Gates, but I was thinking of the Apple guy. Who was the Apple guy? Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs that's right. Yeah. Kanye West. Couldn't remember. Kanye West. Steve Jobs. Yeah, he is Steve Jobs. It's gonna die. Steve Jobs. Yeah, Amazon was started in a fucking uh, garage too, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure he like flipped a, or it was maybe a small office or something. But a lot of yeah. people started in the garages, and it's it's just you're we're at the point where it's like, oh, what do we do? And I was like, either I scale down or I scale up, and I'm like, I'm still young. Like, I need to just keep trying to build this. And then, like, if I'm, like, 40 or 45 and it ain't working, then I could just, like, be like, all right, I suck. Time to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> like, but for now, I think that uh, I'm, I'm really lucky to have a lot of people who support Brown Studios. Like, as a glass blower or any artist, it's very hard to get people to buy your work. It's super hard to, like, convince someone to, like, invest their hard-earned money into your art. Mm -hmm. It's fucking hard. And I have, like, an incredible support system, so I don't want to, like, disrespect that opportunity by not trying to do this you know going bigger so yeah um and big picture what i'm thinking about doing too is this first studio we're going to build it out use it for a few <coughs> years and then if we keep growing then i'll buy a bigger building and like make that like a really big space and i'll keep that studio active mm -hmm. and turn it into like rental spaces and stuff nice. because there's got to be other glass floors like that are going to be running into <coughs> similar issues with like oh i can't find a studio space or like I got kicked out of this spot. There's always somebody and, um, wanting to if, start. Yeah, and I've like worked really hard over the years, so I've built up a lot of the basically paperwork you need to actually get like buildings and like shit like that to do it right. <clears throat> and Dude, like this is awesome. Yeah. I mean, Cass, you're thinking about basically opening like other studios, so that I figured there'll be more glass artists if there's more opportunity. A lot of people hit a wall because they can't find a place to work, or yeah. they can't find a a consistent, safe place to pursue <coughs> their art. Like, mm -hmm. and most glass floors can't get, you know, a fucking half million dollar, million dollar building just for themselves to make their little bit of art they sell. Like, they really right. just need, like, a bench. Right. And, like, most, it's hard to find a really clean, safe work environment that's professional yep. in this industry just because it's expensive and it's hard for everyone. A lot of studios do a good job, but not everyone has that. Yep. It's, not, it's not consistent enough. So big picture, Bear Mountain Studios is what it is. There could be multiple Bear Mountain Studios, like, not that's making my art, but the studio itself, there could be studios all over the fucking 
place where artists could like rent bench space and be able to pursue their art. Yep. And then because we built this huge newsletter and website and everything, we could also offer opportunity to artists to be able to like sell their art too. So if you just focus yeah. on being an artist, we do the whole thing for them. That's like that's, that's like cool. fulfilling and rewarding in its own way because yeah. like once you see them, especially anybody who comes through and actually like flourishes and takes off and does exactly. like replicates what you did, you're exactly. like it's like it's like watching a child <laughs> grow up exactly. in a sense. It would be exactly it would just be a stepping stone or yeah. a safe place for artists. It wouldn't be to work for Bear Mountain or anything. It would literally, it's like you didn't you didn't do the work yeah. to get them there, it but would, like you provided the space for them to. Art studio that you know, you know artists use and then yeah. we have opportunity if you can't sell your work we have an opportunity here we'll you're just opening that door for so many more people thousand people that we have on yeah. it you need to yeah. open up Colorado Springs like when you get the bigger bigger building yeah put a hot shop in there dude know? oh I'm, I'm believe me I'm, be so I'm just cool. gonna keep working hard you put the Colorado Springs first hot shop dude that would be <laughs> so there's, a, there's a lot I want to do dude is there honestly. no one doing that around here no hmm. I mean, you would have think somebody like not, not furnace soft glass hmm. in Denver Maybe but not in the yeah. spring. Interesting. I know I joked about it, but dude, you guys never know in the future. Build all that shit. Fucking might have fucking Netflix rolling through on to see some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Then like maybe Cornbread yeah. won't be as nervous if he's ready for it. <laughs> dude, you know, yeah. we, I'm super nervous. <laughs> yeah, it's super nervous right now, bro. <laughs> for my no, sunglasses. But big picture, I find that our industry will grow much bigger for collectors and artists if it wasn't so hard to do it. It is very hard to be a glass floor. It's very hard to find a space to work. It's out of a torch. It's safe, adequate for you to dude, pursue the art. That's what held yeah. kept me from being it doing anything, people, dude. It keeps a lot of people back. And I just like thought about I it. If I have the ability so daunting. and the paperwork and the background and the track record that I have, I can get spaces and basically open buildings and, and mm. build out one. We work in it, and when we're done there, there's still full beautiful equipment. I'll buy all brand new equipment for our bigger studio and leave all that equipment there. There's a studio full of vertigos and everything. People can rent it there, right. and we have a brand new one full of brand new layers. Mm -hmm. Hell hell yeah. That one now there's a rental studio, mm -hmm. and then we do it again. And I'm just bouncing around building glass blowing studios, and people mm -hmm. are having a space to work. I, in my wake, I leave behind, you know, glass yeah. blowing studios. Yeah, that nice. are available. Dude, yeah. Nice. And Colorado Springs getting bigger and bigger. People yeah. keep moving. So here. this is why I don't want to fuck with code enforcement because a lot of people are like we should fight a suit. Even my lawyer is like, oh, most people want revenge, this and that. What's gonna cost them? I'm like, listen. I'm like, I want my plans <coughs> are so much bigger than just this like and i don't right. want to have any extra walls i have to jump over because believe me all this will be hard regardless so mm -hmm. i don't need any extra people trying to come at me yep. yeah so i need to participate <laughs> properly it's <laughs> just what it is yeah you just kind of want to know yeah man it's wild you know, dab on this. Mike, did you want to dab on this? Um, are you good, bro? Because you've been, I, you just, I take some just took a yeah, dab. Yeah, okay, I'm going to take one more dab. We're about to close this episode out. Right. It happens that fast, guys. We fucking, it just happens. Damn. Episodes go just like that. Fuck yeah. It's over. I'll dude. do another one. Yeah, dude, see? This halo is so sweet, man. I was going to say, here, here, I'll follow. Can I put the other nail on it for you? I'll well, dude, that thing's like and put it on the there because that thing hits amazing right with this nail. Yeah. All right. It's on the He's saying, all right. I'm going to put it in there for a while. Yes, please. Because it's unreal. Have you ever hit this now? Oh, oh I just got it. Yeah. I hit that guy. Oh, yeah. At the beginning right. of the pod. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, we've been in it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You've ever smoked this? Yeah, yeah. just a little while. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Cool, man. It would be funny if I said no, though. <laughs> I was like, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to smoke this for a couple days and it's going to replant the base and then she'll be good to go. That's why I haven't said she's available yet because I'm like, well, I'm going to smoke it and I'm going to plant the base and then I'll make it available. Yeah. But when it's, that way when I like put it in the kiln, it like, cleans it real good too and shit. So oh, it right did. Fucking just back, need that. Yeah. yeah, dude. We've been looking at chairs for the new space. Oh, like, it's not even chairs, dude. It's just, well, dude I don't stretch enough. But we have been looking at fire chairs well, for the new space. I'm, oh, not, I'm not opposed to it, bro. Shades. That's why I got reflat in her. She's not fully ready. You gotta put your fingers up on like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like straight into your shoulders. Oh, all right. All right. Especially with a lathe, dude. Like, just sitting there and like, all right. Well, the lathe yeah, at the new right. spot will be able to, they'll be like way lower. The lathe yeah. at the new spot, are, we're not gonna be on, they're gonna be like low. Mm -hmm. Like, you're gonna be either you can sit at a chair or stand. Nice. That'll be your choice. Nice. Um, so that's where we're Combination, so, please. Yeah. yeah. So that you can like have a nice chair that can like go up to like the lathe height a little bit and like or you can stand. Everything's gonna be like. I'm just gonna get a Joe P chair up. and just be like fucking. 
Dude, the first time I saw him blowing glass live, and he was just like in this big leather dress, like fucking computer chair, just like fucking kicking back. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, he's gotta be that good. Three more. Just fucking kick it. Two more in this batch, and then he told me he's not taking any more direct orders, but what he's gonna do, start doing is he's gonna be dropping like, I think, four lathes a month. Where it's like first come first serve. He's like, right. I, I, think I got four black ladies available. So I was like, okay, well I'll be cash ready. So I'll just scoop a third one as soon as he does a first drop. Nice. And then, um, <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> that's how I do it. So, cause yeah, what we what the new space like we'll have space to have six vertigos, but like out the gate we'll have at least three there. Cause I'm gonna keep the one vertigo here just so I have a home lathe. Yeah. <clears throat> and then. Jeez, so yes, man. Shout out, Vertigo. Yeah, dude. And Litton's get Cassie contacted Litton to get the new scroll chucks made for the big one. So that's nice. going to be the main layer that I use at the uh, new space. Because it'll be just like a Vertigo. <coughs> the same scroll chucks are all smooth like that. Like, right, right, right. Like yeah. Sweet buttery. Nice. Easy to use. Yeah, I'm um, ready to see that thing up and running, dude. Yeah. I'm ready to see an RBR get made, made on, on that, that thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, dude. So I'm going to get that all set up, and that's what I'll probably use for a while there until we have all of the Vertigos at the new spot. But... By the by, next year I'd like to have all six vertigos in there, even though there's only fucking Gosh, three or four of us. But I'm hoping to have more people by next year. If if people keep buying glass, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll just keep playing it by ear. Basically. Well, either way, you have space to rent. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. even if I bought the vertigos, I could rent like people would people would freak work on out that. for like yeah. a station that had all that set up with GTTs and vertigos and shit. And like I said, let that melt in there for a second before you don't use any of your breath, bro. Because that nail's so big that it's like it takes a minute to like <laughs> really get it all in there. Yeah. And then it eats it real fast, bro. Especially. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's different. Dude, I love the headband. That's yeah, the dude. It's, it's super derpy. It's really gassy, too. And I'm gonna take goes, one, I'm, I'm gonna take one more fat dab on this for you in the episode. I kissed it. For episode 100. Oh, I'm sure you did, bro. Yeah, you're going yeah, in. Yeah, I got that high water level in it right now. Yeah, that's rocking, true. Rocking because I was doing videos the other night. And when I do videos, I do extra high water. I mean, you level. still get you still get a lot of airflow but... on that, even though it's all you know capped yeah. and fucking. The per the colored perks and the clear cans. Are there's just a, there's the a lot of volume yeah. of air and then the yeah, like this. tunnel. That's hopefully by next the year you guys are doing colored perks so we can like have like pre-made perks. That's like really my goal. There would be a huge amount of, uh, in- we would be able to increase like the amount of like RVRs available if we had like perks pre-made. Just cause like that's where like a lot of the time spent cause I break one or, or if I have to remake it or it's just letting it cool and cutting it. The perks just add like a lot of time to shit. <clears throat> but like, yes. cause we've tightened everything up. Like now like you guys do all the prep all the opal encasements like back in the day when like Cormac was just doing the prep and I was encasing the opals the opals was like fuck I need to eventually find someone that can do these opals like cause this shit still a full day of work cause yeah, it, yeah cause like, I didn't piece an opal and it's like okay I just spent like an hour getting that all ready for the piece and like now I gotta put on like it saves a ton of time mm-hmm. so you think about it if I make four pieces in a day and if those opals aren't encased that's four hours of the day almost right there if right. they all go sideways on me sometimes they go good you know they might go faster you're like sick uh, and then like yeah, 20 minutes <laughs> you know? and then there's others yes. you're like wow that one took an hour yeah, <laughs> sick you know, sick uh, sense. Dude, dude I cannot express how, how <laughs> frustrating opals are dude it's uh, the it's, the it's opals opals insane there, dude. it's so yep. crazy yeah was, yeah. It's so crazy how easy it can just go like that one time, and then the other times it's just like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna, Wait, gonna quit. Uh, I'm my, done. When <laughs> Big Z done. was here in town, shouts out Big Z. Shouts out Big Z. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. But I real. was on Opal duty, and that was my only job was to encase bare Paul Yeah. And I like messed up like four in a row. <laughs> yeah, I did. Cracking, cracking under the pressure. <laughs> like, oh, oh, we didn't see that. <laughs> I, still, I delivered like six opals by the end of the day. I was like, could have been ten. Could have been ten. God. Damn to be it, fair, dude. that was the worst day ever. I was like, because Big Z's the opal guy. Never yeah. tell Cassie that. Oh, never. <laughs> she would get so upset. cut that. Okay. <laughs> She'd be like, those opals are thirty-seven dollars a piece. I'm like, honey, no, bro. We gotta learn. We gotta when learn. I, when, I, when I first started, I don't yikes. Know what it was that day. <laughs> it happens, dude. I don't get stressed about any of that shit. This is like people like Evan like. Like, even to my wife, like, why are you going to work tonight? We just did this sale. And I'm like, dude, I'm going to work this hard every night because I'm not going to get stressful or resentful at anyone as long as I'm triple covering my shit. 
Right. So if we lose some opals, we lose some color, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day or my relationship with someone mm-hmm. or get all sassy or make someone feel weird or awkward in their work environment over some like little shit. It's just not gonna happen because I work this hard, because I'm making a choice. I'm like, I'm not gonna run my margins so thin that I have to freak out on someone anytime something happens. I'm like, I want my margins nice and fat so that lots of shit can happen and the boys and I can have good days all the time, as much as possible, because life's gonna happen regardless. People are gonna get sick, people are gonna get hurt, family members, or just shit happens to all of us. Right. So there's enough things that happen constantly that are gonna fuck up our day. We don't need the little extra things. So to me, I'm like, for me to do it, like that's my own personal thing, my own personal choice. That's how I like to do things. I'm not saying it's right, it's just what works for me. I'm fucking dude, I'm gonna just crush so I have a little bit fatter margin so that I don't have to be an asshole. It's just what it is, you know? I right. think that's what happens to people sometimes is they like, they like get super stressed out and they freak out on their family, friends, or maybe people they work with because they're just in a tight spot. And I don't want to be there. I'd rather be sleepy. <clears throat> Yeah. Being sleepy is way cooler, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's where it's at. I like that. That makes sense. At a primal, basic, rudimentary level, I choose sleepy over everything else. Over grumpy. Over grumpy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> sleepy over grumpy all day. That's you just choosing which gnome you want to be. Yeah, I was gonna say, dude, I learned yeah, sex. Yeah. Snow White's got some deep fucking symbolism in there, bro. It's like <laughs> we're all so just a gnome. Which one are you gonna be, bro? I'm like, I choose sleepy over everybody. Sleepy was the coolest. He, he was, was, though. Yeah. He was like, what? I'm like, fuck it, it's leaving you cool as hell, dude. Like, the yeah, tank. He's always blinking, like, yeah. what's, what's going on? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's the one I chose That's to identify up. with. Yeah. <laughs> dude, you're gonna look like him once you get all old. Oh, dude, beard, yeah, dude. bro. My eyes are gonna be sleepy as fuck, bro. Keep the beard going. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I gotta cut it again, dude. It grows way too quick. <laughs> as I get older and the harder I work, the beard grows faster. I don't know what's happening. Convincing myself it's a warrior's mindset. It's growing more powerful, it's more powerful. Yeah, so you're getting closer to the all powerful one. Right? Yeah, dude, I'm getting closer to Odin, bro. I'm fucking another few years, bro. 35 is when men hit their prime. I'll Whoa. be ready. Real? Yeah, you're dude. You're about to be prime meat. Dude, three years at the end of my lease. What's up, dude? What? That's my first building. Then that's when I'll get the big building, probably. I'll have a huge beard. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that's the plan, anyway. You're gonna go straight liver It's king. a three year plan, dude. <laughs> you know, straight liver king. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. You're just gonna be. No, dude, that got me feel comfortable, dude. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, it's oh, insane. <laughs> not yeah. even that. It's not even his muscles. I'm like, anyone that cares that much <clears> makes me <throat> uncomfortable. I'm like, oh, damn. I think I did this before. Like, I've cared way too much before. And it makes people uncomfortable. His like, aura is strange. I respect man. it, though. Like, I respect yeah. the grind. But, like, someone like that, I'm like, you're too powerful. I can't hang. I couldn't hang. I couldn't. You're too powerful. I'm like, I'm like, I'm not on your level. Dude, I can't get to that I'm afraid you take a bite at him, yeah. dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's fucking crazy. <laughs> he's an animal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Well, like, I think come up, no, take him on. I don't know, man. I'm a dad and have a wife, dude, and then a kid and shit. I'm just like, I watch like him and his family, and they're really cute and stuff. But I still just see like a little bit of fear in everybody's eyes. Like, I've never like, seen any of that. You don't watch any of the family videos? No, I just know him as an ominous. Oh, I follow him on the gram, bro. Dark God. He's one of my yeah. followers, bro. I have no idea who Damn. you guys are talking about. Yo, Liver King? You know no. Liver King? Dude, what's your I'm out of it, bro. Like, dude? I'm a fucking boomer, bro. It's basically like some glass and pimple popping and then Liver King just dragging shit underwater. <laughs> <laughs> liver King is insane. Mine's a lot of conspiracy <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, dude, mine's too high. I can't even now. I can't. What is mine? Mine's, mine's a lot of that and... Uh, For some reason, I have a lot uh, of like, soccer. Movie stuff. Uh, soccer? And, yeah. You watch soccer? No. That's cool, man. Yeah. You kind of got a reason. soccer haircut a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that may be bit. Maybe the algorithm sees your haircut and like, that's why. I look kind of Spanish. I just, yeah, you just look, you look athletic. <laughs> like, athletic, you know, like Spanish people are athletic, right? I don't know shit. One dude. time I was at the bar, somebody was like, are you, you look like Mexican Twilight. Oh, dude. <laughs> I, I see like, that. What? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah, man. Under these bright lights, you have the I probably look like Irish to my I've ever met, though. Yeah. Like, you have more Irish name than people in Ireland, bro. They think you go over there and they would just be confused. They're like, who are you? Dude, I, and I've only met one other Where's one. Where's your castle? <laughs> My castle? Actually. Yeah, you got a castle name. It's like, yeah. <coughs> no, well, that's Cormac was a king. Oh, I know. Yeah, bro. I have a castle. I can tell you. I can tell you have that in your bloodline, bro. <laughs> like, I, I got, like, I got weird, crazy people, like I said. Like, you, I can tell you have, you've got some, like, smart, like, kingly people, bro. Kingly, is that a word? I don't know what I... I was going to say, kingly. Uh, it's actually crazy. I do have, like, one of my great uncles has, like, a whole family tree going back to, like, Ireland. Oh, I got some trees with family out too, bro. I need to look at that. 
but yeah, anyways, go on. Yeah, buy royalty, back. is that the word? Is that a royalty? Word? Yeah, as opposed to kingly. There it is. I don't know. I'm it's princely. I'm he, look like royal, he looks like royalty he's smoking that pipe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I sit, I sit about, I I'm sit like about plumbery. princely. Like a plumbery vibe, or whatever, like a plumber? Plumber, yeah. Yeah. But like in a royal way. <laughs> a royal, <laughs> a royal plumber. A royal plumber. <laughs> a plumber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's basically what I do, too. What would that be? Water movement. Royal plumber? Yeah. Uh, we'll find that out in the next episode. All right, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today. Find out what Royal Plumber is next episode on episode 101. Have a great day, everybody. This was fun. Don't forget to check out the uh, website, bmsfest.com. Sign up for the newsletter. And get ready for our next drop coming up. Have a good one. Boom. Look at that. Nice.